This one, you can change the speed of, but I wouldn't recommend doing it on fast forward either. Uh, if you could change it to fast forward speed because of that, then I don't think you'd have enough time to uh, um, get past that middle junction at double the speed, which I think is what fast forward, oh, fast forward is. I, I totally mistimed that. That was my fault. But every death is technically my fault. Uh, okay, let's wait for it. Go. There we go. Run, 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 run. Yes, I got it that time. Woo! Just a couple of tries on each stage, and you will make it. Do not be dis. Oh God. Do not be discouraged. Except on this stage. This stage. Oh, if you're unlucky, if you remember this one, if you're unlucky. And you will be unlucky a lot on this stage, so technically you have to be lucky to beat this stage. Um, if you're unlucky a lot, oh, you're gonna be ticked off on this stage because of how, because of how, look how slow this is going. Uh, that's why I hit the fast forward button to make this thing go faster. But, oh, oh. And then once it starts to straighten out, you got a mad dash to the finish here. And you have to really, really, ah, oh, I really screwed it up there. Because the goal is at the very tip of this thing. And you have no other choice but to do it as quick as possible. And that also makes falling, you know, you have to control your bouncing a lot harder. Because you just start to bounce out of control when you're going at such a speed like that. And it just, ah. Oh. The stage is very, very unfair, but it is possible, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be showing a video on it. Yay for videos! I missed making videos, I really did. I always have fun playing games on camera and doing some crazy commentary. Go, gong, gong, go! You can do it! You can do it! No, you can't do it! No! <laughs> it takes so long! It takes so long to do this. Arg. Thank goodness for blooper reels. Alright, let's try this again. It's getting straight it's getting a lot straighter here. And mad dash, mad dash, mad dash, mad dash. Go, 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 go. Faster gong gong, faster gong gong, faster gong gong. Yes, go finally! Oh. Alright, next stage. Oh man, I love this new memory card. I was just able to continue right off, like in two seconds, literally. And time it, time it, time it, time it. Whoop, and oh, I got so lucky there. I did so much better on that stage than the first time I played it in this walkthrough. But hey, as I said, we're human, we make mis we make mistakes. And Vortex, this is another stage I did pretty bad on. That's not normally that hard of a stage. Uh, so we're waiting for a platform to come our way. It's gonna twist towards us eventually Like some sort of uh, flat spring and there we go and go 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 Keep the rhythm keep the rhythm don't fly towards the outside and go towards the inside Move yourself as far towards the outside as possible because it's gonna start pushing you towards the goal automatically Like when it gets to here fly off and there we go We're at the goal and that was the easy stage this one really is easy if you got the timing, uh, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's like, oh, uh, horrific. Just like this one here, if you if you think that the safest portion is near the edge as far away as possible from these bumpers, you're dead wrong, because you're going to fall off, because the, these uh, warped areas get steeper as you go, so they're more unforgiving the further you go. Um, definitely keep your speed up. If you don't have enough speed, um, you're going to fall off anyway, So, and that's not something that you want to do, because down is death, and oh, I'm going to fall off here, aren't I? Yeah! Yeah, see that's what happens when you don't keep the speed up. And we're coming up on attempt two on this last little warp here, and don't go towards the edge too much. Stay near, oh no, no, no! <laughs> Let's try it again, here we go. Attempt number three for the third warp. We can do this, we can do this. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself, young monkey. Yes! 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 Finally! <sighs> and trampolines! Easy stage, as long as you have no trouble controlling your bounces. Which luckily for me I don't. See that thing that's rolling along the edges there? 
Yeah, that once it reaches the edge, you can tell when it's gonna spring you up because oops, because it reaches the edge and it only springs up those different colored platforms. Point and point and last one is an entirely spring platform, so you can't waste much time on that last one because you likely lose track of where you are and fall off the edge. Uh, swing shaft, a very very easy stage. Uh, surprisingly, for how far in the game this stage comes. Um, I think, <laughs> uh, otherwise, once you get past that, you know, that flat portion of the stage, you know, the rest is easy. Uh, okay, you just get on this shaft here, and once you notice it's starting to swing to the other, once you notice the, it starts swinging to one side, then you just go to the other side, and you just keep repeating until, whoops, the, whoa, that was a little bit risky there, okay. Uh, I'm taking a little too many, what the heck? It just flopped off from under me. This stage is easy. What the heck is wrong with me? Arg! I've lost all composure. I've lost it to the craziness, to the madness of gaming, to the madness of monkey balls. Arr. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this this time. And there we go. Much, much better that time that I followed the rhythm in the opposite direction. Yeah, I think what happens if you just if you don't follow it like that, it'll flop you off. Um, this is a pretty neat stage here. Um, basically, these guys right here, they're fighters. Way on the other side of the stage is a play button. You hit that play button, and I'll zoom out the map here so you can see what the heck is going on. Uh, and uh, or you can just fall. <laughs> oh shoot! You can fall off the stage. That works too. Um, once you hit the play button, they'll start fighting each other, and every time they hit each other, a bunch of bananas will fall out, and you're supposed to catch them as they fall out, which is a pretty interesting stage concept, but it's very hard to collect bananas when it's like that. And you remember Serial Jump, right? Those jumps are made by serial killers, hence the name, and... but that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> They are no trouble whatsoever if you get the speed and the rhythm down, just like this one right here called Cross Floors. Um, if you lose rhythm, it's pretty much oh, oh no! As I said, if you lose rhythm, it's pretty much over. Uh, okay, I think, wait, maybe I can salvage this. Maybe I can salvage this. Wait, get some rhythm back. Come on, Gong Gong. We can do this. We can do this. Power of the monkeys here. Magical words is ee -E poo Ee poo! Okay, I think I got it. Yes, ee -E poo for the win! Yeah! I guess you can recover if you uh, mess up and lose some rhythm there. But it's definitely a lot easier, as you can tell, if you uh, keep your rhythm throughout the entire stage. Uh, spinning saw, another surprisingly easy stage, despite how crazy it looks. As long as you. Whoops! <laughs> As long as you don't get towards the outside of that saw, you won't have any trouble controlling your speed. And I'm getting kind of careless, as you can see. So I did. So I ended up towards the outside of that saw. So I did have trouble controlling my speed. So you can stay on this thing all day if you want to, as long as you're near the center, to be able to adjust yourself to get into that goal, just like that. So that's no problem whatsoever, as long as you land yourself near the center and don't get careless. Okay, this one. If I go to the left side, the side that I usually like going to. Um, I'll skip stages, and I don't want to do that, as I said, so I gotta take the side that I have a harder time with, which is this side, and I ended up doing it with flawlessly, just like the other side. I guess the stage isn't that hard after all if you just push yourself up the slopes and control your angle. Ah, flat maze. The most one of the most puzzling stages in the game. If you <clears throat> if you remember this one, um, if you don't skip parts of this maze by jumping holes, you're gonna run out of time. And obviously time is just as dangerous as down, so flop! Ah, poopers! Uh, that's the spot that I usually like going across, is just right across there near the goal. Um, because I can just use like a, a little ledge, a little corner before it to give myself a little boost uh, to get across that gap. Uh, let's try it again. I'm sure there's better places to do it, but this is just just a, aww, the side that I like doing it on. I, I, I made a mistake on the angle once again. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, so, yeah, there's not really much to the stage. 
but the fact that you have to be careful getting there and then you have to bolt really quickly to get across some sort of gap and flop there we go that's how I like doing it just like that and you can do that pretty consistently too uh, which is also why I like doing that see it only took me three tries to do that once I didn't you know flop myself off the edge at least I think it was three tries um, guillotine one of the most uh, dumb moves in Pokemon so to speak uh, unless you're using a move like lock on or something combined with a smear gold you know that has those kinds of moves with it um, because it only has like 30% accuracy but why am I talking Pokemon moves in a monkey ball walkthrough I don't know I guess that's just the point of my random talking and if you ever lose rhythm like that or I just I shouldn't say lose rhythm if you ever get into a place where if moving up will get make get, get you hit by that fan like thing uh, back off and then rethink your timing and then you'll make it through just carefully make sure that you don't get hit by the uh, the fan like thing and hold on just one sec